Hello, this is Blue Star, Defender of Equestria, and this is my next focus on video. What I think will happen next with Grogard's plan. <laughs> yes, it's like, you know, I'm gonna have a little bit of fun, and I think I figured out not exactly what the plan is, but how it's probably gonna go down. And yes, I am aware that there are spoilers regarding the uh, series finale, and since we're discussing the villains, I don't feel too bad at saying no spoilers, or I will be forced to kill you. <laughs> Of course, not really, I don't mean that, but it's like, really, no spoilers, and any comments I deem to be spoilers will be removed, and... Roar! <laughs> yes, making a video like this is kind of dangerous, because it does kind of open up the possibility for spoilers, but I'm gonna do this anyway, so... Roar! I don't really know what exactly the plan is, are we just gonna be like, okay, we all are super powerful now, let's go get them together. <laughs> Kind of reminds me of what happens at the end of some seasons of Power Rangers, where basically, you know, we fought monsters one by one throughout the entire season, and now they all come back and they all attack us all at once. Hmm, we can handle any one monster, but now that they're all here, now we're in trouble. <laughs> Rogar's realized that, you know, any one supervillain can't hope to succeed against the uh the main six because they're working as a true team and they have the magic of friendship and all that stuff behind them so one individual will not overcome a team it's been <laughs> this is very true in real life as i like to say even master chief needs help from the marines sometimes because he's just one guy he can't win the war all by himself <laughs> teaming up with three of the super villains is kind of a bad idea because they're kind of backstabby and it's like only looking out for themselves greed and self-interest is not the foundation of teamwork more like the exact opposite of teamwork this is why they had to have an entire episode to convince team nemesis that you know what being a team is actually better than working alone so yeah you should do teamwork it's good yes grogar really runs the risk of being betrayed by all these super villains because at the end of the day they're all in it for themselves it's what supervillains do they're basically planning to stab grogar in the back as soon as they are able so it appears that grogar may have made a horrible mistake or he would have if he didn't see this coming not only do i think that grogar has seen this coming from the very beginning I, he was planning on it. Grogar is clearly not stupid. He was one of the OV supervillains to realize that we need to work together if we're gonna defeat the main six. We can't do it on our own. And not to mention, Grogar has the all-powerful seeing eye, which appears to be able to see everything. So I already think that Grogar knows about this betrayal, but not only that, he's been planning on it. He's been counting on it, because look what's happened so far. They've gone and retrieved the bell, something that he probably couldn't do by himself either. They've broken into cancer lot to get this book in order to learn how to use the bell again something that grogar probably couldn't do himself he's been manipulating them all this time because yeah these are the super villains they're not gonna take orders you know again that was the ever sub point of frenemies that was trying to get them to basically follow grogar who's effectively holding them hostage they're practically his slaves. It's like, do what I say or else. He's gotten them to do all this stuff that he himself was probably not able to do. And again, the best bit is they don't even realize that they're doing it. I think that Grogar has been planning this from the very beginning. He knows that they're going to try to betray him at some point, And he knows that they won't listen to him and do what he wants unless he constantly threatens to pin them to the wall, which would get tiresome for everybody at some point. <laughs> He's making them think they're doing this of their own free will, but in the end, they're kind of not. They're doing exactly what he wants them to do. This is kind of like the opposite of how Celestia taught Twilight. Celestia taught Twilight by basically giving her a task and trusting that she's going to be able to handle it. Grogar, however, totally doesn't trust them, and of course, nor should he. So instead of trying to trust them and, or give them a task to perform, he's manipulating them to do this task without them realizing that in the end, this is really what he wanted them to do. He's just not telling them this is what he wanted. So they think they're out disobeying him and about to betray him. But in reality, what they've really been doing is doing exactly what he's wanted them to do this entire time so that's kind of interesting and yeah i'm sure that grogar is definitely not gonna be like oh no grogar is totally on the ball he's just simply playing the fool and letting them think that oh i totally won't see this coming but no he totally does they're gonna be in for another shock so mm. <laughs> 
honestly isn't really a big surprise, especially if you've watched a lot of, you know, the super villain kind of shows. The super mastermind often will be like three steps ahead of the, the minions, or in this case, the other super villains. Team Nemesis thinks that they're one step ahead of Grogar, but in reality, Grogar's like two steps ahead of them. I always feel like during the Summer Sun setback, yes, I said it, <laughs> that the source of power that he's talking about is his own bewitching bell. I have located it and tomorrow I will go and retrieve it. Hmm. I have a feeling that it's... I already knew that you would retrieve the bell and, you know, I'm gonna pretend that I'm gonna go off and retrieve it, but I'm just gonna come back and say, like, I knew that you had it all the time. <laughs> I think Team Nemesis are gonna be quite a shock when they realize that they've been played from the very beginning and in true supervillain fashion! <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be interesting to see what's gonna happen to Team Nemesis when that moment happens. It's like, I know that you were going to betray me the entire time. Did you really think that you'd get away with this? <laughs> I feel like that's going to kind of play out kind of like in Beast Machines, where, long story short, this character called Rhinox tries to betray his master, Megatron, and he does this by trying to fake his own death and then goes off and does all this stuff. But when he goes and tries to betray Megatron, that Obi, it's like, you can't destroy me. It's hardwired into your programming. And if I'd never let you roam free, I would have never achieved the key to my victory. <laughs> so that's, I think, exactly the kind of thing that's happening here. All this time, they think that they're out basically doing their own thing. But in reality, they've been serving their master the entire time. And yeah, they're going to be for quite a shock. So, <laughs> so now I'm finally ready to call the shot. Not only does Grogar know about this betrayal, he's been expecting it. In fact, it's been part of his plan from the very beginning. So Team Nemesis, if I were you, I'd watch out. You might think that you've got Grogar in your crosshairs, but he's already got you in his. So what do I think is gonna happen to Team Nemesis at the end of the series? Who do I think is gonna be reformed? And who are they gonna have to vaporize? I know that they're not going to vaporize Cozy Glow because there's no way they're going to kill a six-year-old in a kid's show. I was kind of surprised when they put Cozy Glow in prison because it's like, ooh. Other ponies have done far worse and were punished far less severely, but it, and it was strange to put a kid in prison. But she did kind of deserve it because she's totally evil. But I think there may be hope for her yet. Or maybe she'll be sent back to jail. I do hope the magic of friendship will prevail in the end, but we shall see. For Chrysalis, hmm, I think I might put her in the vaporized category because she totally feels like the kind of character that is not going to accept defeat no matter what. She's not going to like turn to the good side and be like, sure, the magic of friendship, sure, no, I don't think that's going to happen. I hope it does, but it probably won't. If she was reformed, she'd go back to the Changing Hive and she'd be like, Hi, everybody, I'm reformed now. Let's be friends. Mm, be interesting to see what would, how would the other Changelings respond to that? Probably a little cautiously, but, um, you know, that would be an interesting thing for her to be going from the queen to just being a subject because I don't think that they're going to put her back in charge. She's not going to step aside. I don't think the other changings would be too <laughs> accepting of that anyway. <laughs> but anyway, that's being premature because that's assuming that Chrysalis might be reformed and there's always a chance, but I would put her in the no category. Either we're going to have to vaporize her or she's going into prison. I hope that she will be before, but yeah, I, I'm just going to put her in the vaporized category. Mm. You know, moving on to Tyrik, I think there could be hope for him because during, you know, that moment where it's like, you know, all these years taking power from ponies, you know, th there could be something better out there. I don't have to take power from ponies. There was that one little glimmer of hope that maybe he might turn to the good side and realize there might be a another way, which would be great. So I honestly do feel that there could be a chance that Tyrion could be reformed. Not to mention his brother did reform and even betrayed his own brother. Hmm. That would certainly be an interesting thing if, if Tyrion went back to his homeland and made up with Scorpan. And I think Tyrion stands a decent chance of being reformed because there is hope. We'll see. So thinking about Grogar himself, it's kind of hard at this point because we actually don't know anything about Grogar. Even though he is a Generation 1 character, we don't know anything about him or why he's doing this other than he just wants to take over the world and defeat the main six. Why, Grogar, why? I'm unfortunately expecting something 
big regarding Grogar. I just don't know what. I don't know if he's going to go into the vaporize category. He could because we don't really know him all that well. So, but we shall see what happens with him. I think in general we might avoid the vaporize them category because that would be kind of a depressing way to end the, the final season. But at the same time, I do feel one way or another they're going to wrap up these characters. We're not going to have like Chrysalis escape and run off into the forest by herself again. It's like they're either going to be in prison or they're going to be reformed or they're going to be vaporized. Hmm. That's definitely the one thing I guarantee is that there's not going to be any loose ends during this season. At least for these super villains, they're going to be resolved one way or another. But I guess at this point, it's kind of weird. Even though there's only like six episodes left of the show, we still really don't know much about what the plan is, what's going on, what's going to happen. But it's going to be interesting to see what's happened. But I'm sure whatever happens, I'm sure it will be diabolical and evil. <laughs> Would you expect anything less? That's a borrowed expression from Adam Savage. Not only am I expecting it, but I want it, and I'm going to enjoy it. So, roar! Who's going to betray who? What's going to happen when that betrayal finally happens? And who is going to be redeemed, or imprisoned, or possibly vaporized at the end of the series? I'm hoping for reform, but you never know, because these villains are just positively evil. But at the same time, the magic of friendship might prevail in the end. So, yay! But whatever happens next, I'm sure it'll be truly amazing. So, roar! So, that is the end of my focus on video of Grogar's plan and what happens next. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, this is Blue Star. Stay strong, and pony on. Blue Star out.